left goes to Big Blue Live. Wow. Uh, that's very special for us and very fitting today. It's uh, Sir David Attenborough's 90th birthday. Uh, Natural History programming started live and uh, we're still doing it today and that's great. Um, thank you to BBC One for being bold enough to commission such a uh, high-risk project. Um, we had an incredible team who did deliver the impossible on air and online. We, just a day before we went to know, we weren't even sure because of the conditions we would even ever see a whale. An hour before, we were still in thick fog and it was only 20 minutes into the final show that we found that elusive blue whale. Um, but the, the ocean put on an amazing spectacle for us, and it was thrilling to turn the spotlight on such an important conservation story. Uh, it kind of goes to show that if you give nature a chance, she'll come bouncing back. Um, thank you very much on behalf of our team, uh, to our presenters, Matt and Liz. Steve can't be with us tonight. Uh, it's James Morgan, live director. <laughs> Helena Berglund, our production manager, who made it all possible. And series producer, Adam White. Thank you very much. It has been dubbed the greatest conservation success story of all time. The BAFTA, for the best live, goes to Big Blue Live. Wee. How are you feeling? Yeah, we! <laughs> yeah. Well done. I mean, what an achievement. Uh, thank you. I, mean, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Delighted. It was quite a tough category. Yeah, oh, well, very yeah, tough. No, yeah. huge, huge respect to everyone else. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, we didn't expect it against mm -hmm. the International Space Station and, and, and you know, Santa Misa, you know, the, the big, big things. But we, I think we did something different and we, we, uh, it was touch and go, wasn't it? We pushed it. Yeah, it was. And I think, to be honest with you, it's everything that I love about live television. It was technology meets real heart meets education. And I'm talking about for all ages yeah. as well. That is the thing. And, you know, the team effort was incredible. We literally had people standing on the end of piers with aerials <laughs> so that the pictures could be beamed halfway around the world. And, you know, we're delighted, like, you know, Jim said there. The competition was incredible. So, Tim, I don't know if you can hear us, but congratulations, <laughs> my friend. Was the rule to present it, your surname had to begin with B? Bonin, Baker, Backshaw. <laughs> yeah. We never even thought of that. Can we say uh, a big hello to, to Steve Backshaw as well? He tried to get on a plane and, and, and uh, catch uh, the awards, but um, big love to you. Um, yeah, it was a prerequisite. It has to be surnames beginning with B. I have never worked with such um, a hard-working production team in my life, and we were. I think we're still getting over how much we put into that show um, oh, yes. to make it work. Um, we <laughs> still talk about it, how much coffee we drank, but just, yeah, just, just recovering from it has taken us a good year, not, you know, still we're, we're recovering. So to actually get this, I am so incredibly proud of these guys yeah. um, because of just the hard work they put into it. What Did you, re oh, sorry. No, no, Did you realize in the moment that you were doing it that it was something groundbreaking and and really special i mean that moment when the camera comes out and the the shot of the i mean the money shot and as a viewer you're sitting watching that going is this real how is this the, happening live yeah the atmosphere inside the truck on every single one of the programs was electrifying we genuinely yeah. didn't know what was going to happen yeah. um so we were delighted when we got white sharks live we were delighted when we had humpbacks live yeah. um we never I have to say on the third to get episode, the, all of them did we no, no. we and in fact, we had given up hope as we went into the third show. We had given, there was no blue whale sighted. Yeah. It was 10 minutes into the first show, we got a text from somebody who had spotted the blue whale. Yeah. And it was then complete touch and go whether we were going to get it on. It was when it popped up on my screen, other than the birth of my three children, I think it was the most surprising thing <laughs> I have ever seen. So. There's an excellent I... um, photograph of Adam White in the car park at the end of the show with his head in his hands, just sort of encapsulating how we all felt. It was just such a surreal moment that we never thought would happen live on television. Well, congratulations. It is absolutely everything that we love about live telly. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you very one much. thing I'd like to say, a huge thank you. One thing that isn't always appreciated is, I mean, it's an amazing production team, but. Mm -hmm. 
the team of non-production people, the scientists and the people who helped us in Monterey and beyond was extraordinary. We could not have done it without them. So yeah. huge. Send them a picture of that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. And also the weather that just kept lifting. We, we would have fog until literally three minutes to on air and then some weird this. thing would happen and the fog would lift and it would just be glorious. Wonderful. So, Go on, t tell your anchor story. Well uh, uh, done. For the show two, we were in Force 9 storms and the only way we were queuing Steve Backshaw on the live dive was... Uh, a spoon on the bottom of a boat, banging Spanish. it. All comms lost. No! <laughs> oh, my God. Like well, we listen, we love That's why I got we the bath done. Well, well done, guys. It. Thank you. Thank you very much. You put on something quite special, an entire month of Ashes cricket. Yeah, we, we did. It was hard work. And I have to say, we'd like to kind of praise the other people that were nominated as well. Some really good, um, really good entries. But, yeah, we're kind of a little bit shocked, a little bit thrilled.